and the Biden administration is increasing pressure on the popular app TikTok, demanding its Chinese parent company sell its stake in the app or face serious consequences. NBC's chief White House correspondent Kristen Welker is on that story for us. Hey, Kristen, what are you hearing? Hey, Hoda, good morning to you. Well, lots of breaking news around this. This does mark a dramatic shift in the Biden administration's policy towards this hugely popular app, TikTok, which, by the way, has more than 100 million users. Now, just this morning, Hoda, NBC News has confirmed from a source close to TikTok that the administration is demanding the company's Chinese owners, ByteDance, sell their stake in the social media giant, or else the administration is threatening a possible ban of the app here in the U.S., which would likely face major legal challenges. Now, this source did caution me that the company does not see this to be a final order. This news was first reported by the Wall Street Journal. We have reached out to the White House. We've reached out to the Treasury Department overnight, but they declined to comment on all of this. Now, the issue here are the growing fears that China could use the app to access Americans' data, particularly because of a national security law there that requires companies to turn over customer data if requested. China saying this morning that the U.S. has just failed to prove that TikTok threatens national security. And overnight, the company firing back. Let me read you a part of the statement from TikTok, which reads, quote, if protecting national security is the objective, divestment doesn't solve the problem. A change in ownership would not impose any new restrictions on data flows or access. The company also suggesting a robust third party monitoring, vetting and verification process is what's needed. And they say they're already doing that now. Look, big picture here, this latest move comes amid mounting pressure from Republicans who say President Biden just hasn't been tough enough on TikTok. And some Republican sources texted me actually overnight saying this is the right move. But they also accuse the president of making this shift with the 2024 election looming large. Hoda. All right. Kristen Welker for us there on the Hill. Kristen, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.